How is it going everyone? My name is Roskai and today we'll be having a look at Blaboom VMAX. So this is a decklist I made for a friend of mine because he wanted something new to play with and he suggested something grass so I just picked grass in again and there I got Blaboom VMAX because I had three of these locked so it's easier. Plus it had some new extra good partners like Zeru v, uh, v and Aromatic Energy so it is a lot more fun to play with nowadays than it was before Vivid Voltage. So the main goal of this deck is of course get energies onto Rillaboom V Max. But then if you get hit by something like a Pikachu V Max, which will do 270 or under 30 if they don't choose to like go all out, you can just switch back into your Zarud, which you can also charge with the Rillaboom in one turn because it costs only two energies. You do 100 damage. That means that you can one shot that Pokemon next to it. it. Doesn't matter what it is, unless of course it heals everything or switches. You will have to see. You can attach up to two basic energies from your hand onto your bench Pokemon in any way you like. And if that, if you attach an energy to a Pokemon, that Pokemon gets all his damage counters removed, all of them. It's insane. So you could just switch into uh, into Zarud V, charge with Rillaboom and get an energy onto this Rillaboom VMAX, it has to be one only, you can put two, but you only need one, to, so it's great, and then you can heal all the damage, so it's a new fresh Rillaboom VMAX that can take another hit. This is a great combo, because it is a chunky boy that needs energies, and it is a tree prize, so that means that you can actually just like sacrifice as a V, and they still need to KO two Pokemon being a Rillaboom VMAX, and maybe another VMAX or the Rillaboom if they decide to scoop something up. So that's the main goal of this whole deck and it actually does work pretty well. So I made this today and it is a good one. It is a very very fun one. So we run a 3-1-3 three, three line of Krugi, Joaki and Rillaboom. These are needed of course for his Volt Beat Voltage Beat attack. You get two energies from your deck onto your Pokemon which will be your Rillaboom VMAX, of course. And we run a tree tree line of Rillaboom VMAX. By the way, this promo is actually my favorite. Like, it, it does look better than the regular, in my opinion. It's a good one, I like it. Anyways, um, so that's the V, and now you have your VMAX. I'll quickly explain the attacks. So, Forest Feast, for one energy, gets two basic uh, grass Pokemon, put them on the bench. That's uh, that it, that's it. Then you have four, four energies, uh, three grass, one normal wood hammer which is 220 damage and that, yes, that attack does 30 damage to itself so that's a pretty good trade 220 for only 30 damage it is only necessary if you really need it because you can't evolve or whatever then you have your rillaboom which has scratch for one colorless and then uh, three grass one colorless max beating 130 plus you may discard up to three grass energies from this Pokemon. If you do, the stack is 50 more for each card you discard in this way. So this means you can do deal 130, or you can go for 180, or you can go for 230, and then you can also just go for 280, which is enough for to one shot at 80p. Keep that in mind. And 230 would be enough to one shot something else, but mind the resistance on uh, things like Zashans, okay? And then we have, of course, Zarud V. So bind down is nothing interesting. 50 damage, two colorless, uh, and they can't retreat. That's it. Then you have Jungle Rising for two grass, 100 damage, which is actually reasonable for a supporter attack. It's not even meant to kill anything. Uh, and you may attack up to two basic advantages from your hands to your bench, you know you like, and you heal everything from a Pokemon if you attach. So that's a very good. Uh, attack as well. So we run 15 Pokemon in total in this deck. Then we have two energy retrieval which is necessary for the Zerud to work if we don't have any energies left in the deck or in our hands. We need at least one so this is the reason why it's here just to make sure that we can have uh, an energy in our hands. Then two evolution incense only two because we already have to field stadium. So yeah that's why it's here. Evolution incense for our Rillaboom, Twaki and Rillaboom VMAX. Okay. Then we have two ordinary rods. This is necessary, not not so mainly for the Pokemon, but for the energies because you will be going through all your energies pretty quickly because you will be discarding and getting them all out of your deck with this full beat, uh, voltage beat. So if you really want to get another voltage beat going, you can just use this and you get actually and you get up to two energies in back in your deck, which would mean another voltage beat charge. So that's good. 
And then we have three quick balls, only three because we don't run any draw support as a basic. And it is also not needed to have more than these because, I mean, you will be drawing them pretty easily. And three rare candy. The reason for three is also because we don't need it that many times. We don't need it for this for this really boom. And you will be getting the rare candy with Green's Exploration. So I will explain this later. Okay, so we'll just move on. And we have three switches, which is necessary for Zarud to work. And of course it can help you out in any case where you are asleep or anything like that. Okay, so that's the reason why switches here. And then we have three Turfield Stadium, which will get us an Evolution Grass Pokemon each turn. And we get it in our hands. So this is a super good stadium because not only it gets rid of the opponent's stadium, it also just gives you an evolution Pokemon each turn. So that's just a great, great card. Can get you VMAX, can get you Twacky if you don't have any rare candies, can get you anything that's an evolution grass. So that's great. Now we run two boss soda and this is necessary to of course get those last one shots or those last small hits with maybe Zarude for example. You could do anything with the boss order, it's great. And we run 4 Green's Exploration. Now this card, you can't use it if there's a Pokemon with an ability in play. Well, the whole reason why it's here is to get that Rillaboom with certainty. If you have one Kuruki on the bench, you can just use this Green's Exploration. Get a Rare Candy, get an Evolution Incense, or the Stadium even. And you can just evolve it. And that's the only reason why it's here. And until this Rillaboom gets knocked out, you can not use any other Green's Exploration. But that's not really anything bad because, I mean, the only reason it's here is to evolve, so it's a good card to have here. And we don't really lose anything if we get an ability in play because then we have what we want. So that's why it's here. Now we have three Marnies, the basics, of course, of any standard deck nowadays. So we have three Marnies. These will give us some hand disturption and also just some uh, ways to get our cards back in the deck. Plus, it is just a draw supporter. And then we have three process research. I don't like to use four, it's just a little scary to discard your hands all the time. And drawing seven could be scary for any mill decks or just backing out. And then we have two aromatic energies because I don't want four because it is not necessary to have that many. And we also just need the basic energies to be able to use them, utilize them for Zarud, for Gorilla Boom, for. For even no Rillaboom V Max can actually also discard this aromatic energy. So just so you know, you can also discard that energy. So that's good. And then in total, of course, 12 cross energies. This is a great amount. It's not enough. And it, I, I mean it's not not it's not too many. It's not too much, sorry. <laughs> and it's also not like we will deck out out of the energies. It's it's a balanced uh, amount. Good enough to use for Rillabooms. So yeah, that's uh, that's the deck, lads, and I hope you all will enjoy the gameplay. Cheers. Let's get this started, lads. Alrighty. So Rillaboom, you go. Damn, we lost the coin flip, lads. That's bad, that's bad. Now actually, it's pretty alright to start off in seconds, because you can just use your Rillaboom uh, first move, and that would be pretty good to get to basic Pokemon in play on your first turn. So let's hope we start off with a Rillaboom V. There we have it. Two. We have even two of them. Uh, but the rest of our hand is looking meh. Really meh. We do have a Rillaboom V Max, but we need something more. Well, luckily we can mill something. I mean, uh, filter something out. Ooh, that's a Zashin. Okay. Wait, we. He chose to go second. Oh my god, what a bastard. Either way, we have our professor's research, though we don't need to use this attack. Not really sure. Hmm. So we will attach this energy there on this Rillaboom. We will evolve him, use a prof. Depends on what we top deck though. Hmm. So that's a Zamazenta, so you will prevent all the damage done to that Pokemon by VMAX. Oof. That will hurt, because we can't one shot this in any way. That's bad. 
many Monitas, so we don't have our VMAX. We have a Grookey and a Mani, so that's that's good news. He will get rid of his big hands. He did not get an energy, which is also a good thing. I want to keep these cards, so I'm going to Mani, plus I want to get rid of his big hands. So, okay, we have... Well, we can't evolve that, that one right now, so that's sad. But what we can do is get this Rillaboom VMAX. Do we want to evolve right now? I don't, I'm not sure. I can't evolve Grookey now in this turn, but what I want to do is... Okay, you know what? I'm going to evolve. Yep. And then we use Scratch. We did 20 damage, lads. So at this point, we can we can we can discard two energies, and then we will be good in damage-wise because 230 means 230 mean minus 30 equals 200, which is what he has right now. Unless he gets something like a tool card that prevents damage, a shepherd. Okay, so he's gonna devolve us into the V to one-shot us. That's pretty clever. Yeah. Use your interpret sword, mate. I don't care. He, this disaster will die. That's that's for sure. And actually, it would be in our favor if you devolve us for the Salmon Santa, of course. Either way, we get our Billaboom. So, yeah, we're good. We're good on that regard. We don't have anything else, though. That's, yeah, that's not so nice. We should be able to KO him, yeah, if we discard two energies. So I will uh, attach this one there, and we will mill, um, filter our own deck, of course, with this Twacky. And we will use Max of all B, discard two energies, and that's a knockout. Great. Okay, so that's our first knockout. We shouldn't really worry about the damage on this Zamazenta right now. What we do need to do is get a switch. That's what we need. Right now we need a switch. Or he has to evolve and get us some VMAX, uh, V-Action. So you will... Okay, yeah, sure. Whatever you like. Ah, oh, there's a root. Perfect. We do not have any switches. That's not good. That's not good. Alright, so... The plan is to not deal any damage. Yeah, we, we won't deal any damage, that's the plan. So if we deal 100, which will be 70, that's 200. Yeah, no, we, we need to, to shot this with wood hammer. We don't have any choices. Mm, that's too bad, that's really bad. We shall just wait. Yep, uh, so we have discarded two, which means we can get two back in the deck. And I shall attach two energies onto the Zerud. Alright. And we do Scratch, but we don't do any damage, so we are screwed. But we will use Rillaboom V to KO this Zamazenta. He goes and scoops up that Shuppet and gets a vocal communication. Gets rid of Shuppet, shuffles it in the deck, and he will get us. Himself, sorry, not us. He will get. What will he get? A Crowbat V. Okay. Now you have to get rid of some cards because drawing two from a Crowbat V is not worth it, mate. He is also giving us some chance to actually win by putting down a two prize on the bench that we can easily one shot with anything. Oh, except for Zarude. That's an Orangaroo. Oh. Weird. Well, I, I mean, it's a good thing to have with Sashans, Sasha V, because you do draw from the top of your deck. So that's a good thing, actually. Okay, he lets the turn be. And we will have to do the same, I believe. Or we can just go and uh, attack. We could just, disc, uh, like, retreat. 
and Godzilla. Let's retreat. So that's no problem because we get those two of those energies back. And the others we can get back with something else. I suppose it's a good idea to just do this. And let's do a damage. 70 of course. And then after this we'll have to do the same again. Man, the resistance is annoying, right? That resistance is annoying. So you will deal 130 damage. Oh, he goes and bosses something out. Interesting, so you want to do damage on that Rillaboom. You do notice that if I get anything else, like a draw, or an energy, mm, we can't retreat though. That's too bad. Well, we know we can't two-shot this dude, so... Let's not worry about that for a moment. Yep, we shall not retreat now. We will wait. And then after that we'll completely heal up everything from Billaboom. He is getting a lot of time to just play. Like, wow, he has a lot of setup time. So the Crowbar piece is just sitting there, we are waiting. So now we will heal up everything, everything up from this Rillaboom. So he will be very sad. Okay, um, we have a dilemma here. I'm not sure if we can get an energy, so we will just get one energy. Retreats. Boom, boom, boom. How many do we have? Four. See, that's only four. It, it's alright. It's no worries. No worries. And we shall use Jungle Rise. We damaged him to get one shot with our um, Rillaboom V. So that's good. And we healed 260 damage from Rillaboom V Max. I don't think he likes it. So he will just go away. We can after that retreat into our Rillaboom V, which has. I mean, the root has only a retreat cost of one, so that's good. Huh. I'm, I'm very scared as to what he will do. Oh, wow, okay, never mind, he doesn't do anything. Great. Uh, what we will do in this situation, though, is not put it down. We go and draw. So we get a switch, so we don't have to retreat. Let's go. We shall attach an energy onto this. Yeah, see, I was wondering if we had enough energies in our deck left. We should be able to pull this off, lads. It shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, we should be able to manage. We still have two um, energy retrievals in the deck, so we can get uh, energies back and that I eventually attach from the hand to maybe get a knockout if this Rillaboom dies. Yep, that's the plan. And I mean, why not the Grookey, sure. We have a boss, so that's great. We can just KO this Crowbar V now. We get an energy, that's good. And we get an energy retrieval, perfect. This is absolute perfection. He puts down the Crowbar V in the active spot, so he wants to lose for some reason. What is he doing? I suppose he will retreat into something else. Uh, maybe that was his hopes. To retreat into something else. Oh, he gets uh, Professor's Research, that's good. He hasn't really done much. Yeah, and that's a bad hand, so okay, that's a win. So the first win of the video, great. So I haven't really tested out my deck that much, but it seems that it's going great. So he has one Zamazanta in the deck, that's good. So this seems like an only Sashin deck with Evolution. Three bosses order, wow. Yeah, it seems like a decent deck, he just had bad draw or something. Yeah, probably. Alright, next match. Alright, let's jump into this one. I hope this one is not a fire deck, because fire decks will be very scary for us. They will one-shot us with ease. So yeah, we have to be careful for that. Okay, so we start off with a Rillaboom and a Garuki. That's good. 
and we get our aromatic energy which will help us to get two basic cross pokemon onto a bench it is a fire deck great it is a fire deck we don't know which pokemon yet i'm hoping it's uh, something like charizard v max because then it doesn't really matter uh that's a volcanion so we have to worry about getting one shot at next turn holy damn um Okay, yeah, we can't do much here because we are first, so this is bad news. I'm gonna keep this Thurfield Stadium. Oh man, this is a, this is a, that is a, uh, it's a very yeah, scary moment. And he will get a hat, so I can see it happening. Yeah, there is the hats, and so we have no energies onto our Pokemon, which is not that terrible, to be honest. So that's a Houndoom V-Deck I was thinking about, man. So that's definitely bad news for us. Definitely. And now you get three energies onto that Pokemon. We are screwed by the way, we'll just one shot this dude next turn. We are absolutely screwed. We can't do anything about this. Unless we evolve. To which he will then Well I guess yeah okay. We we just we need to evolve into the VMAX. We have no other choice. Yeah, we are screwed. Maybe we can get back if we get a um, if we get a greens. We could get a rare candy and then a quick ball, which will give us the Zerud, which will heal all our damage. Oh yeah, I did damage. Well played. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. So yeah, I just did damage to Volcanion, so we can just retreat and do 200 damage, which will result into 400 damage. Yeah, I was I completely forgot that. It was completely my bad. I made a big mistake there. To attack. I don't know why I did my... Completely forgot. If you want, you can check out my video on the Houndoom V. I really like it. The Houndoom V I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna concede. Well played, mate. Yeah, I've played well. Alright, so that's our first loss. That was a big mistake on my side, really. And he's sharing. So what does he use to get the dash? Huh. Okay, this is a very weird deck. So he uses 15 EV, 2 hand EV, and, two, and a 1-1 one, one line of Center Scorch V Max. And he has a beautiful rainbow. Wow, okay. <clears throat> also uses freaking 20 energies. Oof, big oof. Two Professor's Research, four Welders in total, two bosses, two Leons, for no reason. Then, okay, no, two other Research, so in total, four researches, four Marnies. Also, Goga's Trap. What? This is, this is a weird deck, mate. And then some random Cossy Fleur. So, how do you plan to use Houndum VR? Okay, a weird deck, a really weird one. And he started off with his only Volcanion. This is literally the only Volcanion in his whole deck. And he started off with that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, fair played. Well played. A weird deck though, but alright. Next match is coming up. Alrighty, so uh, it seems like it's gonna be another fire deck. Let's just try to not make any mistakes this time, because we can't make a mistake. And uh, no, we don't want to go first, we want to go second. Yeah, yeah, we want to go second because he is a fire deck, and we do actually get some benefit from going for second if we start off with a Rillaboom, of course. Okay, so it starts off with two Pokemon. I'm guessing that's a Volcanium, but he won't put it in the front because why would he? So we start off with a Grookey, and that's it. We are done for. Oh, actually, it's great that we went second, because otherwise we would be done for. Uh, and he starts off with a Talon Flame. Wow! So the one time that I choose to not go uh, first when playing against a Fire Deck, I meet a Talon Flame. That's that's just wow. Okay. What a lucky bastard! So he discards his whole hand. Oh my God. Okay. So he. What? He uses. Uh, huh? He uses Rapidash? Agility? Really? Damn, that's a first. Okay, I'm, I'm wondering if I should attach to the root right now. Because it is a bad idea. 
I mean, yeah, it is a bad idea. Like, there's literally nothing I can put in front that will heal, uh, withstand damn attack. Only a VMAX, but I can't put that in front right now. So we will have to sacrifice this Kuruki. Oh, that feels bad. Uh, I don't want to discard these Pokemon. But I will, I will actually, it's, we have enough of both, we have three of both, so. Alright, that's, that's one. Then we get, let's just get two energies back, discard one then with the quick ball. Yeah, that's fair. So we get our second rookie and we, okay, yeah, that's good to see what we have left. And we shall attach to Brillaboom, yep, yeah, that's it, okay. Unless it gets something like a Cape of Toughness, which would be another fucking lucky move. Very lucky. And if it doesn't Marnie us, then we get a Rillaboom next turn, which would be great. We can just go all out on that Talonflame, and we do not have to worry about getting one shot by Rapidash, because it does turn into 20 only. So that's good. That's very good. So he goes and focuses all his whole strategy on a coin coin flip. Interesting. And there we have a big target, which will be the target of our Rillaboom, of course. We can one-shot this, so that's easy. Easy prize is there. Very foolish of you to do that. Unless you get a boss. I hope you don't. Really don't hope you get a boss. Because <laughs> that would be very rude. He is going for that boss, probably. Crossing my fingers, man. Do not get a boss. He didn't. Okay. So he does that attack and he discards an energy from his book. Which isn't really a problem problem in fire. I mean, you have enough energies. Oh damn, I didn't realize he had two heat energies on to his Pokemon. We are screwed. We are screwed, lads. We can't one shot him. Yep, we are screwed. 300 times in a row, we can't do anything about this. Yeah, we are absolutely screwed. That's just so sad. Oh my god. How are we supposed to win this? Like, wh what is his luck? He gets just two heat energies out of nowhere, can attach both. He has 10 HP left, he can just survive. We are screwed in 10 possible ways. It is not okay. Let's just hope he doesn't get an energy, but he will because he has shine hard, so it's I mean like oh, god damn man. This is just this is just terrible. This is just terrible, terrible, terrible. The match is not over yet though. Don't give up on hope. We have our Rillaboom still. All that we need right now is something draw. Some draw support. So there you go. That's a dead Rillaboom. This dude would have been dead, but yeah, we are now behind on three prizes. And all that we've got is a root V and a Rillaboom. We can go for the knockout though, which is something good, but we are screwed either way. Because we have nothing to draw. Oh my god, this is just so terrible. Whoa. Zarud will be dead too. The only thing we have left is a Billaboom. Oh my god, this is just... Wow, and another Zarude. Yeah, sure, I didn't really need another Zarude. We're dead, lads. We're dead. Wait, why does he attack? Why does he go for this dude? Is he really going to, like... Burn me? What? <laughs> you can't attack. You would just attach energies? Okay. Yeah, you can attach five energy, so I don't really worry about that to be honest. And you won't even burn me, so I mean, that's great. Not like we can do anything about it at all. It is just, we're screwed. Either way. You have no way to go and attack him. And even if we did, it wouldn't really matter. And we have the parts we need. Finally, so okay, we get a Rillaboom V again. Not like it will matter, so yeah. 
I will already attach to... Okay, we have one energy left in our deck. We don't even have enough energies left to even try anything. Let's hope we get it. We don't even get anything like... Um, we don't even get our energy retrievals anything at all. So that's sad. Very sad. And yeah, we don't have any choice. We literally just don't have any choice. But to just go and like and be like, ah, oh, yeah, I have lost. <laughs> this is this is terrible. But by the way, these are just the first three matches I come up with. I I, I see I find when I record my decks. I don't uh, worry about losing. I just worry about showing how the deck should perform. And if it does, damn. perfect. So we have a lot of bad luck on the part of his damage counters. We could have killed the Talonflame and it would change the game drastically. But we had a slower start because of many different scenarios. Things that happened. So yeah, it is just a sad moment. It is also just our weakness in general, which we can't handle at all. And you have to be honest, you don't really see that many fire Pokemon anymore. I guess you could say we could add um, weakness cards, but I don't really feel like I need to do that. Um, okay, we have a choice. We don't. Actually, we don't. We are screwed. Forever. <laughs> so, I guess there goes the Rillaboom. I mean, we can just like attach the last. Oh no, we, we use the Rots for Gods. Either way, we're too late. We're just too late to win. As you can see, you can also just discard this energy. Either way, those are three prizes. We were one prize card behind, which is actually pretty alright. If you look at how many things we had against us. I mean, look at it. We weren't even that far away from winning. Wow. This is just great. We we're just literally one turn away from winning from our weakness. I mean, lads, come on. Look at this. We are winning. <laughs> So yeah, there goes Brilliant Flare, which will deal to 360. Yep. Not gonna lie, it is just... I mean, we really did actually very, very well. We really did good. Like, literally, look at it. We, we did almost the same amount of damage. He had weakness, by the way, just look at it. So yeah, I do believe we had actually done very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually very proud of this match. We stood our own against anything. By the way, also another one that has just one Pokemon to start off with, what he needs. And look what he had. He just starts off with that Pokemon that he needs on that turn. He, he went first and he got the, the only Pokemon that he needs. Just like the last game, he got the only Volcanion in his whole deck and got seconds. Like, what is this luck? Literally, it's just the worst luck that I have. Wow. So yeah, that was the deck. I hope you all enjoyed this video, by the way. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more. I will do a special, special thing when uh, we have 100 subs. We will be opening a lot of packs and doing giveaways. And we will have more things coming our way. Yes, there are some surprises from a viewer and others and I am super excited for all of that so only 12 subs away man if you are watching which is 90% of the views please subscribe thank you so much uh, yeah thank you all for watching I hope you all enjoyed this deck and have a fun playing with this because it is a fun deck actually and it does work perfectly so yeah if you have any suggestions or any comments just show me talk to me and join the discord server if you want to have a lot of fun tournaments giveaways anything like that uh, yeah have a good day further, lads. Cheers.